There are a few things brewing right now that could change the future of Pepe forever. We can see Pepe explode beyond the all-time high prices, potentially even passing Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. First, we need to start with the big topic circulating right now in the Pepe community. This post from Coinbase that came out from the Coinbase Chief Legal Officer. Now, this is in response to Coinbase sending out an email to a bunch of their different investors about Pepe, updating them about Pepe. They say, yesterday we shared an overview of the Pepe Moon coin to provide a fact-based picture of a trending topic. That's a little bit questionable. We're going to get into that in just a second here. But this did not provide the whole picture of the history of the meme, and they apologized to the community. Now you might be wondering, if you haven't seen it already, what did they say in this email? Well, let me show you that. Now, we're going to get into this whole Twitter post here in just a second. But first, let's talk about what they actually said about Pepe. They say Pepe, which is issued around three weeks ago with a huge supply of 420 trillion tokens, has been leading the meme coin activity. This token is based on Pepe the Frog meme, everyone knows that of course, which first surfaced on the internet nearly 20 years ago as a comic strip character. This is something I actually did not know. Over time, it has been co-opted as a hate symbol by alt-right groups according to the Anti-Defamation League. And so they start out with just the normal, hey, here's the history of Pepe, and then they just take this dark turn and say, well, there's these very few people on the alt-right supposedly that have taken Pepe and made it this horrible symbol of hate. That's just crazy. We are obviously, as a Pepe community, not the alt-right group pushing a symbol of hate. I'm not sure why they're mentioning this. People take a lot of symbols and they twist symbols. There's some people that twist symbols. Just because a small group of people twisted what a symbol means doesn't mean that that's what the symbol is. And so this obviously upset so many people in the Pepe community because Pepe in our crypto community is about love. We are not about whatever this group is trying to push Pepe as a hate symbol. That is not us. That is not what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is push Pepe as a symbol of love. Now, here was a message from Gemini. In contrast, Pepe continues the tradition of giving control of money back to the people. Gemini gets what Pepe is about. Pepe is about power to the people. We're not here to tell you what money is. We'll leave that up to you. We're here to empower you with greater choice, independence, and opportunity as we continue our mission to unlock the next era of financial, creative, and personal freedom onwards and upwards from Team Gemini. And so this response from Gemini is so much closer to what Pepe is actually about. We're about giving power to the people, going to the next era of financial, creative, and personal freedom. This is what Pepe is about, not some small fringe group that has turned Pepe into a hate symbol. I'm not even sure why they mentioned that, but that's what Coinbase said. And this has now caused a movement. Hashtag delete Coinbase, where people are wanting Coinbase to be deleted. You guys can see the hashtag delete Coinbase. And I'm getting 31,000 tweets. A lot of people have been deleting their Coinbase accounts of this because they are so upset. Coinbase is refusing to list Pepe so far, and now they're calling us a hate symbol. This is just not acceptable for our community to be able to take this. You can see that even Beeple is joining in on this, making an image of obviously the Pepe community coming after Coinbase when they go ahead and do this to us. We are not going to lay down and take this disrespect as the Pepe community. Again, we are about love. We're about empowering the people. But if you go ahead and cross the Pepe community, it's become very clear that the Pepe community will throw back. You guys can see that people like Polly are responding to these posts by Coinbase going absolutely ham. What are you going to do to make it right? 1,200 likes in a reply to a post that originally only got about 7,000 likes. That is massive support from the Pepe community coming out here again with the Beeple post as well. You can see all the likes and retweets on this post of the Pepe community coming after Coinbase. And I think this is where Pepe has tremendous opportunity here because we are such a strong community. We have so much potential. I'm pretty sure Pepe is going to force Coinbase to list Pepe because at this point, Gemini is growing dramatically. And we're going to show that in just a few minutes here. But we can see that Pepe community is going very hard. We are moving our money from Coinbase over to Gemini and other platforms that actually support the Pepe community. This is basically going to force Coinbase to go ahead and support Pepe. Now, of course, this news right now is not helping the price of Pepe. We are down right now about $500 million market cap, down about 30% on the day. Obviously, that is not great, but I think, again, once we can get Coinbase to turn around and show just the power of the Pepe community, I think that's going to be extremely bullish because we're also seeing volume went up by 20%. We're at almost $600 million of volume, which when you compare that volume number to, for example, Shiba Inu at about $120 million and then Dogecoin about $300 million, we have more volume just for Pepe than both Shiba Inu and Dogecoin combined. And so I think this just goes to show how strong the Pepe community is. Yes, the price is going down right now. However, we have so much support behind our community. Once we get a couple more good pieces of news, we can see the price of Pepe absolutely explode. And I believe 
We can overtake Shiba Inu, do a 10x and overtake Shiba Inu right now at about $5 billion market cap. Right now, Pepe is on a downwards trend. We broke it through a couple different support and resistance levels and we are moving downwards for Pepe right now. But I think that we can actually break out of this trend if we get some good news like Coinbase listing and a couple other things. Elon Musk could also tweet about Pepe. Obviously, Elon Musk tweeted just yesterday about another cryptocurrency. So it's possible that Elon Musk will tweet in support of Pepe. That could have us go blast beyond the all-time highs that we saw once we break this downward trend pattern. Now, there's another good piece of news, in my opinion, for the Pepe community. But before we get into that, if you guys appreciate videos like this, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified when more Pepe content comes out. Now, what we're seeing, and some people are a little bit concerned about, but I think this is actually good. The holder number for Pepe has basically flatlined. Now you can see just a couple days ago, almost a week ago at this point, we were at about 105,000 holders. And if we go about a week before that, we were at about 50,000. So we saw explosive growth for a week, and then we've kind of flatlined this past week. I think this is actually not a bad thing like some other people are thinking. And the reason why is quite simple. You guys can see that when you look at the distribution of holders, Binance now holds so much Pepe. Binance now holds 16% of the total supply. OKX, another 5%. Then you have MEXE, you have KuCoin, you have Huobi. Once you add up all these different exchange wallets, you get close to 25% of the total supply for Pepe is held by these exchanges, which I think is actually really good because, or a good sign at least, because our holders numbers have not really dropped. What I mean by that is, yes, the holders numbers have not gone up, but a ton of people are moving their money over to exchanges or buying Pepe on exchanges to avoid insane gas fees. Obviously, it's a little bit less than what it was right now, but if you go ahead and you try and put up a Pepe swap, as you guys can see right above me here, you can see the gas fee right now is close to $50. A lot of people are trying to buy maybe $100, $200 worth of Pepe. If you go ahead and buy $200 worth of Pepe with a $30, $40, $50 gas fee, that absolutely kills you. So, so many people are going ahead and moving their money over to exchanges which is how we're still seeing such high volume going on, even though the number of holders have not increased on chain. And so I think this is not something to be concerned. We've seen the gas fees explode. And so it would make sense that less people would be trading on chain, more people would trade on exchange. This is where you guys have the opportunity. If you want to go ahead and trade on MEXC, if you deposit and trade, you can earn for free up to $100 worth of Pepe, $9,000 worth of USDT. All the terms and conditions are on this page for you guys to check out for how much you have to deposit and how much you have to trade to actually achieve that. Now, another thing that's important to note for Pepe, and this is just a public service announcement right here, do not try and click on any airdrops, minting giveaways, staking, any of that kind of stuff is fake. There are a lot of people trying to scam people in the Pepe community. It's really sad to see. I haven't seen so many people get scammed right now. It's really unfortunate. Don't go ahead and FOMO clicking links on different opportunities for airdrops, minting, all that kind of stuff. The official Pepe account is right here. It now has a blue check mark. You guys can go ahead and check this out if you want to get the information. All the other Twitter accounts that say that the Pepe account, they are fake. I think there is another project that has massive potential to gain a ton of value. Once Pepe does reverse trend here, and we have seen Pepe go back up to all-time highs, that would be today's sponsor, Elmo ERC. Now, Elmo ERC, I think this tweet really encapsulates the potential here. You can see Dan Bongino ended up tweeting out the Flaming Elmo, which is the same icon for this cryptocurrency. This is their profile picture. It's the same icon for this cryptocurrency. And I think that just goes to show how serious, how authentic this cryptocurrency actually is. This is not some super random meme. This is a mainstream Elmo Bernie meme that a lot of people know and love. And this is why I think Elmo ERC has so much potential. Now, Elmo ERC does something very unique. A lot of cryptocurrencies are just straight up copying what Pepe does. Elmo ERC is doing things different and adding value to their holders. They have a 10% burn tax on sell transactions. So if somebody goes ahead and dumps Elmo, it's actually not that bad of a situation because the value of everyone else's holdings goes up since they're going to burn 10% of that value. So if you have a whale sell, it's actually not the worst thing. Whereas in Pepe, the value goes down and nobody else really benefits from it. So this provides a unique value proposition for the people. You guys can see also burned a huge chunk of their total supply. They started initially at 1 billion, they burned 500 million, and then since launch, they burned roughly another 70 million tokens. So a large total of the supply has been burned close to 15% in just a couple days. Now, another thing that they're trying to do is launch the Elmo staking platform here within the next week, which will allow you to earn and burn, contributing to the burning of Elmo while also earning some staking rewards. 
They're also looking to add a NFT collection. So they're trying to add actual utility, whereas other meme coins are not trying to add utility. So I think this project has a lot of potential. If you want to check out Elmo ERC, I'll have the link in the description down below to their website and to their Twitter account. I think this is a project that of course you should do your own research before investing in any meme coin, but I think this project is worth researching. And if you want to learn more about Elmo ERC, check out this video up here and I'll catch you on the next one.